Hey there, here is the video that I promised in the analyzing social networks using R programming class. Remember in the class, we created a social network, which is actually a professional network using five people. So let me recollect that information here. All I have to do is on this panel here, I have all the historic com commands that I submitted before. So our uh, professional network was made of five people. I'm storing the names of those five people in this variable called people, which is an array. So here it is. Let's see what's in people. Now, I also created the professional network in a matrix form and stored it in a variable called SN. That's here. So let's see what's in SN. SN is a matrix representation of the social network or the professional network we created. You look at it here, this says, for instance, the one here means Bill considers Dave to be a professional contact. On the contrary, Dave doesn't consider Bill to be a professional contact. In other words, Dave recip doesn't reciprocate Bill to be a professional contact which is pretty normal, nothing unusual here. Uh, person A may consider person B to be a contact, whereas person B may not perceive person A to be so. So SN is a matrix representation of the social network or the professional network that I created. Uh, we discussed all these things in the class. And we used the gplot command to visually represent the social network or the professional network, which is where our concerns began. Here it is. So as I was telling you in the class, this is where you will see the output of the plots. Let me go zoom it. You can click this to zoom it. Unfortunately, as visual as this is, it doesn't tell you who's powerful and who's not powerful in this network. If you look at these nodes, all these nodes are of the same size, uh, which is when we decided that we would like the nodes to be rearranged based on how powerful that particular node is. Now, what is powerful or what exactly is the definition of power? It could vary. For instance, we discussed in centrality, the degree of out centrality and so on. Let's assume for a second that we are going to decide who is powerful based on uh, the degree of their out centrality. So let me calculate the out centrality here. So the out centrality is calculated and stored in variable OD. And I'm going to replot this professional network using the gplot command except that this time I'm going to specify that the node size or the vertex size must correspond to OD, which is the out degree. So let's see how this looks. Here we go. Wow. Okay. This looks a little better. Now, when you look at this network diagram, this tells you that Pooja and Raj, considering out degree to be an indicator of power within the network, Puja and Raj are powerful compared to everybody else. Now, if I were to redefine power as the in centrality, then I need to calculate in centrality. This is the way I do it. Now, in centrality information is stored in variable ID. Let me go and execute the gplot command where I'm specifying that the node sizes must be based on the value of the in centrality. Let's go and zoom it. Now this tells me based on in centrality, Dave is the most powerful person in this network. And the fact that Bill doesn't even have a node implies that Bill's in centrality is zero. In other words, Nobody considers Bill to be a professional contact, even though Bill considers Dave and Raj to be a professional contact. So based on this, Dave is considered to be a professional contact by four people. 
So what this helps you with is to visually represent a social network so that people can look at a social network and immediately identify who the power brokers are, who's powerful in that network. Imagine thousands of uh, uh, nodes, imagine thousands of people forming a professional network. But just looking at the network, you can immediately conclude who's powerful and who's not. That is the purpose of uh, using uh, in centrality or out centrality, or for that matter, you could use eigenvector centrality and so on. Uh, you could use R this way to understand who's powerful in the network and who's not. Thank you, guys. Uh, have a good one. I'll see you later.